Good morning, everybody. Good morning, guys. So we are going to have ourselves a good old-fashioned gist day. And some people might be wondering, what is a gist day? Well, it is a get your shit together day. And I definitely need to do that because for the fact that I've been working, I haven't had the time to take care of the apartment like I would personally like to take care of the apartment. So we're going to do that today because I know I need to change the cat box. There are cat toys everywhere and my vacuum needs to be used on that carpet. I don't even know how, but now there's cat puke on the floor, which I'm not going to show you because it's disgusting, but I need to sweep and mop this floor. I need to put the dishes away, do the dirty dishes, wipe down the counters. We got our hands full. Now, everybody does a gist day differently, but the way I start mine, oh yeah, I'm going to need some coffee. And by the way, I legitimately like just woke up five minutes ago and that I kind of kicked myself in the butt because I wanted to be lazy and like go back to bed and sleep but I'm like okay I know you didn't fall asleep till like one in the morning but it's like a quarter to ten o'clock you need to get up so that's what I did I forced myself out of bed and to just pick up my camera and get moving on my day because I've let the apartment go I feel bad but the easiest way I tackle just days is by taking it one room at a time. So we're going to start with the kitchen, especially while my coffee is brewing. I don't know why I just love to start with the kitchen. just on the apartment went done, went well while wow, went and done but I did get it done uh, floors are swept and mopped carpet is vacuumed cat toys are picked up or start recycling and garbage is changed and taken out dishes are done counters are wiped down tables wiped down cat litter scooped my rooms vacuumed I'm gonna get yesterday's vlog up uh, finish my coffee and then I'm gonna head to the pet store because my cats have no food they ate last night, so it's not like they're starving, but I'm a bad pet owner. I should always make sure that my pets have food, and I didn't do that because I've been working all weekend, and by the time I get done work, everything's closed, so I feel bad about that.
Hey, I have such an awesome roommate. She's actually going up to Petco because she needs to get some stuff. So I asked her to pick uh, my cat's food up because her car is more likely to get to Petco and back than my car. So there's that. Obviously, I'm going to send her the money for the cat food. I'm not just going to, you know, get it for free. Like, I'm not, not going to do that, obviously. But that saves me the trouble of trying to drive up constant hills in my car because my car just hates hills especially during the winter when the roads are just crap and slush so i'm happy about that i'm very grateful for my roommate she's awesome despite the fact that i feel like i have never ending congestion i actually feel really good today i think it's because i actually got a decent sleep last night and the fact that i have the day off and i was able to get the apartment back in working order it always helps me mentally like positivity wise and productivity wise when I'm able to actually catch up on everything that I need to do and the apartment is back to a clean, organized state. I don't know what it is, but it, it makes me feel really good and really productive and like I actually did something with my day. I'm very grateful still that my roommate's picking up cat food. I feel so bad because they keep, they keep meowing at me because I don't have their food and it's past the time where I would have fed them this morning and I feel so bad. But they're gonna eat soon, thanks to my roommate. Um, I would have picked up food regardless today whether or not she was going to Petco, but she was going to Petco anyway and asked me if she wanted me to pick up anything. So she's picking up the cat food. I'll send her the money when she gets home. And then, let's see. I know I, I want to go to the gym today, but I'm still trying to figure out whether or not I'm hanging out with anybody. Um, but I should still probably go to the gym at some point anyway, but we'll figure it out for sure. I'm sitting here debating whether or not I should go to the gym. Because, like, I, I kind of want to go, but I kind of don't. But it's like my brain's trying to make excuses not to go, but I can't think of anything valid or anything else to take up my time as an excuse not to go to the gym. And the fact that I don't want to means I probably should. Because you know, there's that whole logic when you don't feel like doing something, that's the time you need to do it so you can beat the laziness. <coughs> so, I'm thinking I should probably just say screw it and go to the gym. I've got nothing better to do and I will have accomplished something for my health. Dear Lord, the one thing you will not hear me not complain about during this time of the year is how freezing cold it is I'm still waiting for my car to heat up so I can head to the gym and I'm just sitting in my car like an idiot well I wanted to move that way in case my roommate came home or my neighbor came home I wouldn't be in anybody's way um but it's freezing and I don't want to leave my car unattended like this so I'm just gonna sit and wait for it to warm up was successful I love anytime fitness even though it's blurry focus focus why why do you do this to me camera please focus this is obnoxious <laughs> come on focus there we go bye anytime fitness I had a good workout. I'm sweaty. I'm worn out. <laughs> I didn't go as long as I did last time, but I think I was there for roughly 40 minutes, so that's I'd say that's a decent workout. I'm gonna go home, take a hot shower, and get ready for the day. Look at me, I'm dressed in normal people clothes today. I'm home from the gym, clean and shiny in real people clothes, so I'm pretty comfortable. I feel accomplished, I'm clean. Now I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. Maybe I'll play some video games. I haven't just sat and played video games for a while. My cats have food officially, so they ate, they're happy. Whew, I feel accomplished. I cleaned the entire apartment and caught up on chores. I got yesterday's video up. I went to the gym, I took a shower. I'm in proper clothing, my hair and makeup's done. I feel pretty good. Now I think I'm just gonna be a little bit lazy because I deserve it. 
Alright guys, this is the end of the vlog. I will see you guys in the next one. Sorry it ended so abruptly again. <coughs> Excuse me. I ended up going to next house to hang out. Um, and it wasn't as awkward as the first time. Uh, we had a great night. Everything went well. Um, I ended up sleeping over there again, which is why it's the next day. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get that great of sleep. I never do. If I don't sleep in my own bed, in my own room, I just, I can't sleep. Like, it's not that I'm not comfortable and I don't feel safe over there, because I do. It's just, I guess, my anxiety in the back of my head that's like, you, you're, you're not in your bed, you're not in your room, and... I kept thinking about my cats last night, even though I fed them before I left and I knew that they were safe and that everything was fine. And I don't know, my brain's stupid. When I'm away from my cats and my apartment too long, I get kind of anxious because like, I like to know what's going on. But the cats are good. They're eating their breakfast. They're happy I'm home. But yeah, I'm gonna get this video edited and uploaded now, so. See ya.